I would just like to start the video by saying I'm sorry for not uploading lately. I've had a hard time finding stories to upload on the channel. If you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments. I'm not positively sure if this counts as another human being, because we didn't positively identify anyone. But a few years ago, my friend and I were staying in a small cabin my dad had on a remote piece of land in the Idaho wilderness. The nearest town was probably 50 miles away, and the nearest active road that wasn't an old logging road was about two miles from the cabin. My friend and I had been BSing and laughing in our cabin in our bunks, and it was about midnight. We had turned off the lanterns and were trying to fall asleep when we heard something that sounded like something had scraped the door. We both lifted our heads up and mumbled a conversation of, Did you hear anything? Yeah, yeah, haha. Then, in the middle of nowhere, in this remote cabin, someone starts knocking on the door. Doesn't say anything, just knocks. We were both in our 30s, but we were scared. We didn't say anything, just lay there, with our heads up, staring at the door. We didn't go out until it was light. And there was nothing near the door. That would have tapped against it, and no animal tracks. It freaks me out even thinking about this. I was hiking deep in a forest, sticking to the path. It was evening, sun low over the horizon, making my way back out of the woods when I see something hanging in a nearby tree, so I went to take a look for curiosity's sake. It was a baby's doll head. I looked up, and there were hundreds of baby doll heads in the trees. The few I could see clearly seemed old with dirt smudged on them, but a few seemed clean and new. I heard rapid footsteps approaching, and I hightailed it out of there. Why someone hung up hundreds of doll heads in a tree, deep in the forest? I have no idea. My family used to go camping with a few groups of friends when I was a kid. I remember one Christmas, when I was about five, we were camping out in the bush. There were nine kids in total at our campsite. We were allowed to wander through the bush. The parents would give us a walkie-talkie to tell us when to come back. We never wandered far. Anyway, out of nowhere, an unfamiliar voice came over our walkie-talkie. It was a man's voice. He said he was Santa and that he was trying to find us to give us our presents, and asked us to look for him. We all ran back to our campsite, all excited that Santa had talked to us. The walkie-talkie was taken off of us, and we weren't allowed to go anywhere for the rest of the trip. We were pretty devastated at, at the time, but I understand the seriousness and creepiness of it now, looking back at it as an adult. Backpacking with my 15-year-old daughter, six miles in, we had climbed over a plateau and down into a canyon. We were filling up on water bottles when she slipped on a wet rock and obliterated her ankle. No cell phone signal means no way to contact the outside world. As I watch her ankle swell, all I could think about was how stupid I was to get my kid into this situation. I quickly gained my wits, I stopped panicking, made camp, and distributed anti-inflammatories. The next morning, we made a makeshift splint and decided we would be better off following the creek out because climbing out of the canyon did not seem like a feasible option. It was in the upper 30s, and we had to get across the waste, deep water, multiple times. It took a whole day to get out but we made it. My daughter was a trooper every step of the way. It turned out to be more of a bonding and learning experience than I ever could have imagined, and now we have a great story. Ankle was badly sprained, but she was recovering after about six to seven weeks. 
this is probably not the kind of horror story you would expect from this kind of video, but I thought I would add it just because this would be a terrifying situation to be in. This is the final story of the video, and I just want to thank everyone who has made it this far. Doing a group trip in the woods, literally 40 minutes from any town, we ask our group leader if we can go back to our cabin as night rolls around. He says sure as we begin to walk. We have to walk through a path that's 10 minutes long and in the middle of a thick forest. When we are halfway to our cabin, I get an uneasy feeling. I turn around, and literally 10 feet behind us, this random guy in a yellow poncho starts following us. I tell my friend, we all turn around, none of us recognize him. The man in the poncho just smiles at us for a second, and then runs off the path into the woods. So my friends and I sprint to the cabin and enter. The rest of the group is already there. We tell the group leader about what happened. He calls the other leaders, and they start looking around. They don't find anything, but a new rule was put it in place that requires someone to be with a leader at all times when you are outside of the cabin. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. And I would like to give a shout out to all of the Redditors that have wrote these stories and put them on the different subreddits. And also, I am sorry about my voice during this video. I know it messed up a few times. So, thank you, and bye.